YouTubers and Disney Plains fans, and today I'll be showing you Arturo's Pit Road gift pack. And man, they have been releasing a lot of new Plains merchandise. Uh, at least I've been noticing that. I know that they released Rochelle and Echo, then Franz, and then Gunnar Viking, and then uh, of course Arturo. And it was really kind of going slow, and so now they kind of picked up the pace. I really hope they do the uh, Hector Vector 4-pack uh, target exclusive. Um, that's kind of nice, but I wish they did re would release that earlier, so I wouldn't have all the d duplicates such as Bravo Echo and um, Jolly Wrenches Dusty. So uh, let's get on with our Turtles Pipro gift pack here. I hope you've been having a wonderful break. If you are an adult, um, you probably have to go back to work now. Uh, or if you're a kid like me, I'll uh, have a break. Uh, until January 6th. So let's get on with Arturo here. So he, uh, I have not seen this one in the store. I had to purchase this one on Amazon for a really nice deal of $7.99. So um, that was very nice. So of course, he's got the cool uh, uh, little card art there, the same as Gunnar Viking only. Um, the color, of course, is different. And as you can see, our Turtle Pipro gift pack. And now there hasn't been one of these released for a while, so let me just acquaint you with it. Of course, it comes with the tent, flag, the plane, and the plane's pity. And of course, so there is our Turo's pity and the tent and flag there. Of course, he is the Italian racer, as it states in the little excerpt about our Turo there. If you want to pause that and read it, sorry about the glare over there, but um, I do have a lot of lights on, so it will be bright. Um, and of course, it shows other packs available. Probably not the nicest packs, but Dusty and Bulldog. And of course, there's Arturo, as they say, with spinning propeller. And they also have Arturo's pity and race team tent and flag. So uh, it says includes two diecast vehicles, which would be Arturo and Arturo's pity. And so uh, there, uh, just a little, um, a little more look at Arturo in his package, and I'll be right back with him opened up. All right, I've got Arturo's. Uh, Hero gift pack opened up and first I'd like to take a look at the tent here as you can see the uh, background of the package is right here it's a very nice background I know I've used it in my previous Piro uh, gift pack unboxings it's a very nice kind of shows the uh, rest of JFK where all the uh, tents and rip slingers is at the end there um, I do not see our Turos on here do not believe so I know there's Bulldogs right there and uh, oh if you saw my last video, uh, and I was saying there's some new uh, planes coming out, such as Sunwing, and there's like an Irish racer. Now, the Irish racer, or I think it's Irish, racers like Decos on eBay I saw were like this, these Decos. It was like green, and then had red and white for like the, was it the wings or was it the tail or something like that. But um, if you saw my last video, uh, maybe you are aware, but... Uh, Let's get on with the tent here. As you can see, Arturo is number three, and as I stated before, he is racing for Italy. And uh, here's the little flag that comes with. Uh, it's basically just the Italian flag surrounded in blue. And now that just goes into the top there, and uh, there you go. Now, the tents are all exactly the same for Dusty, El Chupacabra, Bulldog, Aishani, Ripslinger, and Arturo. So I just wanted to show you Aishani is the um, most recent one besides Arturo being released. I would really hope for Rochelle as Pitro gift pack to be released, but I feel like this is the end of the Pitro gift packs, at least for now. But uh, they are exactly the same. So um, it's very nice. You could display Arturo under it, but we will get to Arturo and his pity um, on the uh, turntable here. So let me just uh, set these off to the side for now. And this uh, cardboard here, and let's move over the turntable here. And as I stated in the last video, Gunnar Viking is the same exact model, at least I think so, as Arturo here. They sure look the same. Let me focus here on um, actually the planes here, not the background. But yes, it, I do believe they are exactly the same uh, model, except for different decos and different expressions. As you could see, a, a very cool kind of determined look on him. And uh, uh Gunnar is actually just smiling there. So uh, they are the same model. Pretty cool model. I like how it's more of the thicker engine there. So Arturo is very cool. On his wings, 
It's like Aura. I'm not sure how I pronounce it. It's like Aura Turbos. I'm not sure what that exactly means. Um, but it also has it on the underside of his wings too. He also has a very cool checkerboard pattern going on his wings and throughout the uh, back tail there. Kind of wraps all the way around. And of course on uh, the back he's got the uh, Italian kind of flag here with the number three as well as right in front of his eyes. Kind of funny uh, place to put it. I was wondering when I always saw this in the package and I was like wondering what that was. But now when you turn it that way it is his number three. And he has his name right there, Arturo. Let me just focus in on that. Arturo, and then again, it's just, uh, it says Aura Turbos on both sides. And then on the back here, it has some sponsors. Aeroflex, which I do believe is a plane himself. A nice code there. And um, some more sponsors, which are too small for me to read and they are exactly the same on both sides so Arturo is a pretty cool model I really do uh, think he's a very nice to add to the collection um, I do remember him from the movie I do remember seeing him I do even remember seeing his name on the uh, scoreboard where it said like who's in place and I remember uh, because they really did a cool uh, nice job when uh, Dusty had the penalty and they um, so showed showed the scoreboard how Dusty kept moving up and he passed Arturo and Aishani and Bulldog El Chupacabra until he got to Ned and Zed and Ripslinger. Um, but so now let's get to the pity Arturo's pity. Too bad they don't give him a name, but um, he is basically got a very cool expression on there now. Uh, I was gonna say I think there might have been a. Uh, Pity that had the same expression as him, but I checked behind me because that's where I have all my planes, and uh, there is not. So uh, that's pretty cool. That is very unique. And now I did see online a uh, Spanish pity. Um, uh, like I believe it's Spanish pity. It was like in uh, black, or maybe it was a German. I don't remember. Um, but uh, of course, he has the same decos, Arturo Italian flag. And checkerboard with the number three, kind of a different uh, text font there, um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, so he's very cool. I'm just trying to focus in on that a little bit better. So that is very cool. And uh, let me show you the uh, different types of pities. Of course, Arturo's the basic standard pity, same as any of the other ones, such as Elchu, Bulldog, and Ripslinger. But for Aishani. They released this female pity, which was a little bit different because she had the uh, kind of a robe on her. I'm not sure what they're exactly called some since she's Indian, but she had the robe on her. So it's a little bit different model. As you can see, the back wheels are not shown. Uh, they're covered by the robe there. Um, if you want to leave, tell me what uh, her name is in the description. I mean, uh, what those are called in the uh, comment section. Um, that'd be very nice. I think I uh, knew it, but then I forgot because I, I'm not sure. I have to <laughs> watch my video because I'm sure I stated what that was. And, of course, here is Dottie, which is the bigger pity, bigger wheels, um, bigger everything. Uh, so she is, of course, Dusty's pity and um, they, of course, have to make her unique. So Arturo uh, is pretty, pretty cool. Again, nothing too special. And uh, Arturo is, as I say, the same as Gunnar Vikings model. But I do think they are very uh, cool uh, models. Uh, I really do like how Arturo looks um, in this uh, kind of a deco. So uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I did want to thank you guys for uh, watching my videos on... Uh, I know I probably haven't been getting that many views because everybody's out there doing stuff with their family. And I am uh, too, but uh, I just had some time to do some videos now here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.